Hey Luna. Luna. Guess what? It's time for irrigation. So the reason we put this down is so we can get most of the irrigation to hit the front yard first. So here's the first port. And once our neighbor releases all of that water, it's gonna run down here and, and into the front yard. You guys ready for it? Huh? Luna, watch out, you're gonna fall in. So half of it kind of gets stopped so that there's enough pressure for it to go down this port here. Then the rest of it goes down and goes through the second port into the pasture. Right, Luna? All of the birds love the irrigation. And the goats? <laughs> the goats have to decide at what point do you have to get out of here, Luna? Watch out, Tilly. Watch out, Tatum. It's really It's fast. coming. You're so cute. You better run. Big, 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 big! Hermione, come here! Big, 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 big! Come here, run! <laughs> She's so happy to see us. Come here. Right here. We, we want to see. Will she do it? Are you not going to go underwater? <laughs> All right. She's gonna try to escape. <laughs> Hermione, we wanna see. Honey, maybe if you put your head underwater. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how our yard looks for a day. And we're gonna go check on Stella and Iverson. Hermione, big, big, big. big, big. Come with us, big, big, come big. on. Come on. Big, big, big. Come on. Are you bred yet, Stella? Yeah. What is going on? Yeah. You're probably just lying yeah. and saying that you are. Stella has been such a funny goat during her breeding time. At first, she didn't want to be near him at all. And then there were a few hours, like two days ago, where she was wagging her tail and wanted to be by him constantly. And then she was back to just screaming to be let out. So I'm just gonna count that she is actually bred and we'll start planning the ultrasound about a month from now. Um, but she's a tricky one. She's definitely not like her mom who loves to be bred, loves every buck and gets pregnant easily. I don't think Stella dislikes Iverson. I just think she doesn't want to be locked up. She wants to have freedom to go about the whole yard. But the good news is, is that in about a week, we're gonna ultrasound Fern, who I definitely think is pregnant. She's acted more hungry and more affectionate. And so I'm excited to see her results and see if she's pregnant and see how many she has. About two weeks ago, Last time we had irrigation, we did something sort of fun. So I'm gonna show you what we did right now. So we've been pretty bored here at home, not being able to really go anywhere. And Kevin came up with a really fun idea for us to have a little adventure today. This is basically a lake. So it's a little bit uh, shallow here. So we're gonna make our way out to the big pasture. Minnie, hop on. Okay, all right, ready, set, go. Oh, you scared Minnie. <laughs> Good job, you can do it. Minnie's like. Think Lydia's beating you, Ethan. Yay, Minnie, you made it. Go on, Minnie, go on. Hermione wants on. Okay, Grandma. Take a goat out. Or a pig. You take the pig out. 
<laughs> Whoa! Hermione! You're going to sink my boat! Come on, Hermione! We tie a rope to the golf cart and pull them around the pulley. Okay. You can't do the golf cart in the water, can you? Oh no, not in the water. Just it goes around a pulley and the golf cart pulls it. Just so you go really fast across the water. Alright, have fun kids! This is your fun quarantine activity for the day. Well, I think Hermione really wants to ride with you, Lydia. I don't think Winnie's gonna like it. Oh, turn it around. Here comes Winnie. Okay, Winnie, hop off. <laughs> she doesn't want to get off. Winnie! She likes it. Only Winnie would like something like that. She likes it. She's wagging her tail. Ooh. Ethan found a little garden snake here on his paddleboard. Bye bye. So cool. Yeah, it is cool. They can swim really well. We think snakes are cool because we don't really get them here in Arizona. I know a lot of people associate Arizona with like rattlesnakes, but those are more in the desert, not so much in the city. At least we've never seen one. <laughs> Bye. I lose my breath whenever I see you. The grapes are coming on in full force, guys, and I couldn't be happier. We've got two different varieties here. The red or purple grapes have seeds in them, while the green grapes don't. So we're gonna preserve them a little bit differently today. You guys have given me so many ideas on how to preserve grapes. I can juice them, I can make raisins, I can freeze them, and I can make jelly. So today, we're gonna try two of those. For the seedless grapes, we decided to freeze them. So it's a bit tedious, but we're picking everything off, washing it, and then laying it out to dry. And now we'll just freeze it for future snacks in this hot Arizona heat. Next up is grape jelly. After everything's been picked, we have to cook everything down and smash it into an oblivion. Most of the time, grape jelly is made out of Concord grapes. These are actually the red flame variety, but they'll do fine. I'm using this handy strainer to get every little last bit of juice out of these grapes. And what's left over is kind of surprising. Once we have the juice, I'll add some sugar, bring it to a boil, and then add the pectin to make it thicken up. After that, it's just filling up the jars and then processing them for about 10 minutes in a water bath so that they can be preserved for up to a year. That's it, guys. Beautiful, homegrown grape jelly. Okay, guys, do we have a fun project today? Kids are super excited. It's only 102 right now, so it's cool. Is it cold, Ethan? <laughs> I know, but we gotta get wet first. We're all trying to get in the pond and Ethan's too cold. Be brave, jump in. Okay. Do it. Go. Oh, oh so cold. Now we, now we get out. Lydia already got in easy, so. Yup. She's good. But we're just gonna set some posts on the ends and then we're gonna just line these up and hook connect them with my little connectors see it'll be fun is this more than one thing yes Ow. there's a bunch of them you all wet yeah <laughs> okay let's go how old do you think this thing is <laughs> <laughs> probably he probably got it from his grandpa right kevin um maybe i got a lot of my tools from a grandpa look at that is this safe? Is this safe? Is this allowed? What is this? Is this like 
Bandage <laughs> things. Medical bandage Medical on it. Medical bandage things. job right. we're gonna be growing tons of cantaloupe on this one now try to climb it ethan and see if it can hold you <laughs> no stop that is nice good job now kevin wanted to use pressure treated wood to go in the soil but i begged him not to because i don't like how it looks so we'll see how long this oh. actually lasts <laughs> we put stuff on it so it won't rot so we'll see yeah we treated it with a little bit of protectant but we'll see how long that lasts this is my first year growing this ambrosia melon and they are so good they stay pretty small but they are so sweet and they mature really fast because they're so small okay guys i finally got the milk testing results back so here's what they say the way milk testing works is that we test them throughout the entire year and we're gonna do about eight different tests to determine how much milk they're producing and what their butter fat and protein content is on each dough so today's results is a projection on how well they did based on that first test how we think they're gonna perform throughout the year and if by the end of the year they'll earn their milking stars there's a chart based on their age on how many pounds of milk they'll need to produce in order to earn their milking star. And so here's the results. Based on Doris's age, she only has to produce 688 pounds of milk for the whole year and 24 pounds of fat. Right now, she's projected to make 841 and 47 pounds of fat. So she's doing pretty well. Even though this is a projection, hopefully she continues to produce milk and if she keeps it this high, she should get her milking star. According to Tilly's age, she needs to make 638 pounds of milk and 22 pounds of fat. She's really close and this is a little worrisome. If she keeps her milk at a relatively normal level throughout the year, she may hit it. But there's a possibility that she won't this year. We'll just have to keep watching her and see if she stays steady throughout the year. Willow completely blew everybody away <laughs> with her numbers. So according to Willow's age, she only needs to produce about 600 pounds of milk and 21 pounds of fat. She's projected to make 1,000 pounds of milk and 104 pounds of fat. So pretty much unless something major happens with Willow, like she gets sick or something, she'll definitely earn her milking star. The funny thing about milking stars and testing milk is that it can change throughout the year. So these are just projections on what we think they're gonna hit, but as the year goes on, sometimes things can happen, they can get sick, or um, for whatever reason, their milk drops. Some does will have a lot of milk in the beginning and then it'll drop, and some does produce milk all throughout the year, even Steven. So as we keep milk testing, those projections might change a little bit, but we're pretty safe to say that no matter what, Willow is going to earn her milking star, so pretty exciting stuff and this is why I'm really wanting to invest in Willow making sure that her body structure is really good and that she's as healthy as possible because I think she could really be an amazing doe and produce a lot of amazing babies throughout the years for other families that want good milking does so that's it I'll update you as we keep going but just know it's only about once a month that we're gonna get results back and and test and continue to see how everybody's doing Time for your play date. Da da da. Best friends. <laughs> you guys miss each other? It's been what like a whole day. Yeah. They'll play here in a little bit. All ready back to best friends. Just like Just gonna fight right here. <laughs> 
just have a little snacky snack together. They miss each other. They were the old lady squad. So Willow and Penny and Winnie's diet is going really well. I feel like I have already seen some progress, but I don't want to jump the gun yet because I know it can take months and months for things to change. Winston and Zorro are in just a little bit going to be moved over to the buck pen where they'll live there. And so we're waiting for Iverson to kind of finish breeding Stella. And once we are sure that she's pregnant, he'll go back to his home and our two little cute bucklings will go over to their new home. Yeah, they're excited. All right, guys. <laughs> we have some super cool new merch. As you guys know, Luna is always trying to get pregnant, and Stella is a result of that. It's funny because it's like in Jurassic Park when they said life finds a way. Look at it! <laughs> Don't know if she approves. So she doesn't like the publicity. That's you, Luna. It's on her Look shirt. Here. Look. <laughs> You're famous! So if you guys want to purchase a shirt like this, it'll be on our uh, merch shop. So go ahead and click in the link in the description. All right, so we have a bit of news for you guys. We have decided to switch to putting videos up once a week now. I know a lot of you really want us to put up a lot of videos, but we need a little bit more time to make them. And the summer is just full of gardening and harvesting food and canning food. So we need a little bit more time to do that. So on Thursdays, we'll have a video to enjoy every weekend. And, and we'll make them a little bit longer. So yeah. every Thursday we'll post, you'll have a nice long video to watch and then we'll be back the next Thursday. Oh, that was like a 360. <laughs> This means they're friends, not <laughs> fighting. No. Fight play. It's, oh, it's, witty. it's just play. You don't attack <laughs> someone from behind. That's rude. They need a friend to play with. <laughs> oh. oh, you guys. Look what you did. Oh. They don't still attacking. Fighting over the food. Oh. Winnie <laughs> can also play by herself when needed. Yeah, she's good at that. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you like paddleboarding, check out this video here where we tried to surf in the irrigation ditch. <laughs>